this one or trade I'm or whatever you, that was. I'm giving you an opportunity right now to buy the stock of anyone on the Giants 25 man projected opening day roster. Who's the guy you're putting your money on? Wait, wait, wait. for this year. If, uh, it could be anyone. It could be Logan Webb, Snell, Harrison, Cobb, Hicks. It could be Wade, Estrada, Chapman, Ahmed, Bailey, Conforto, Lee, stock, Yaz. Stock, or just name the whole roster. I'm, I'm saying. Camille yeah. Duvall. Who's the guy? If you were to say, hey, this guy has a monster year this year. This is the guy I'm betting on. Uh, or, or, or give me the guy you're most fascinated to see. I'm, I'm more fascinated to see Kyle Harrison. Really? Not at Luciano, so I could have been with the big league camp. I want to see with Kyle Harrison because I've been hearing about him for years. Kyle Harrison's a guy. Remember when Shohei was at the age, was, I was like, would you trade Harrison straight up for Otani? And a lot of people weren't on board with that because they felt that Kyle Harrison could be a big boy. He could be one of the elite pitchers in this league. So I'm excited, especially after what Flip just said. Did you he said set the bar high for for Kyle Harrison. Set it high. So you know what? I'm going to set the bar high, too. I'm more intrigued with Kyle Harrison toward the rubber for the Giants every fifth day. What does this young man from De La Salle High School have in his arsenal? I've been hearing about it for many years. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here to see it now. I would say one of the most enjoyable games of last season – was his start? Was it against San Diego late in the season? Uh, uh, Lubby, let me pull up. I do remember he had that guy yeah, like that five inning yes. start at the end of the year where he just like oh, struck everybody out. It was electric, and I was like jumping off the couch. Yep. It was one of the, and he was like screaming and yelling at the dugout. It reminded me of like vintage bum. Yep. In terms of the 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 emotion that he was emoting coming yep. off the mound. So I, I want to see that. I want to see Kyle Harrison. I'm more intrigued with him. Really? I'm more intrigued with him out of all, especially since Luciano's not here. Oh, it was against the Dodgers. Wow, thank you, Loveman. Luciano is, I mean, <laughs> that's that's a disappointing Chung fact. Lee? I don't want to talk about dude. I, I, yeah, I'm, I guess I am. Just just really quick, I'm sorry to cut you off on that start you are talking about with uh, Harrison last year. was against the Dodgers. He went five innings, allowed zero hits, and struck out four. So, I mean, that's just a taste of what we're getting. Yeah, that's a very, very good guy to be excited for. That's a good one. I like that. Love, but what about you? You got 100, you got 100 bucks. Who's the guy you're putting it on? I mean, you know, I'm always going to ride with Logan Webb, but um, honestly, the only guy who I really kind of want to ride with in the second half, it's going to be later on, it's going to be Robbie Ray, because I feel like he's the guy who's going to be the difference between this rotation being very good versus something very, very special. Because if you can, if he can come back at close to full strength, that one, two, three, even four punch of Webb, Snell, Harrison, and Ray... If you're another team in a playoff series, you're looking at that and you're just like, oh. I don't want to deal with that at all. Well, I put I put Robbie Ray in the bonus category. Yeah, I, I'm if with I you. If I get anything out of him, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, because uh, a guy coming off that injury, yeah. coming back that late in the season, yeah. there's going to be a ramp up period. There's going to be a rehab assignment. Then he's got to work himself. Yeah. Three inning pitcher, four inning pitcher, five inning pitcher, six inning pitcher. He might be ready to go six innings until mid August. Yeah. I have no idea. Now you're playing catch up. Robbie Ray, to me, is in the bonus category. If I get anything out of him, I'm not saying he's a bad player. I'm not saying he's terrible. But if I get anything out of him this season, I'm okay with that. Because the way I look at that deal is I got off of Hanniger and I got off of DiScafati. That's the move. That's that's the way I looked at that move. Do you rem and everyone's different. Everyone comes back at different paces. But do you remember when Cueto came back late in September yeah. off the Tommy yep. John? It was just kind of like a work in progress, yep. you know. And yep. maybe he would have got better if there was another couple of months attached to the end of the season. But it didn't look great. No. Nope. And I, Robbie Ray is absolutely to me. He's dessert, right? Anything I get would be great. I'll yeah, take a couple I, of bites, or whatever. But I, the main meal is going to be Logan Webb, Snell, Harrison, Cobbs, Hicks. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think the Cobb thing is, is so interesting. I didn't think he'd be ready till June. Yeah. And the fact that he's throwing simulated games and now he's going to get a little little minor league, or not minor league, but a spring training game in, like that's big. That's absolutely no, that is, big. That is huge. That is big time for for the Giants. Here. So I'm, I'm going to put Robbie Ray in that bonus category. Who are you excited about? Is it Jung-Hoo Lee? I'm really excited for Jung-Hoo Lee. Uh, but... I'm going to start with this guy. I, I personally believe when I'm building a team, and obviously you want to have the, the, the starting staff, but the synergy between catcher and starting staff, I, I, it's just it's got to be there. And you've got to have an unbelievable arm behind the plate and somebody that keeps guys from running. Because base running is at a premium right now. Yeah. It is. You look at the top teams in baseball, they're running the bases. 
mm-hmm. or they're slugging a ton of home runs. But I, I look like the Braves. They're running the bases. Arizona running the bases. Patrick Bailey negating the run game was huge last year. Mm-hmm. They didn't have that before that. I mean, you guys remember who was catching for them? Yeah, it wasn't it was, good. It wasn't good at all. You know, it and so I look at, at Patrick Bailey. Was the hitting? Was the hitting? An outlier because in minor leagues he didn't hit as well as he did in the bigs. That's very rare for a guy to come into the bigs and hit better than he did in the minor leagues. Right? Was that the outlier? And is he going to regress back know. to the meme? Can he keep up that defensive prowess? Because oh. I, I saw Buster is one of the greatest catchers ever that we've seen in a Giants uniform. But the athleticism that Bailey displayed on a lot of these pass balls and, and stuff that would have been wild pitches. He's just a different level of athlete right. behind the plate. Does the adding the bulk take away from the athleticism? I want to see him behind there. Uh, our boy Carlos Ramirez is going to be doing some animal. Yeah, uh, is going to be doing some hosting for Giants pre and post. We know he Who's does the Niners or whatnot. He says great debate. He's really excited about Jung Hoo Lee. I am too. If he's what we think he is, he'll be a Gold Glove candidate, lead off nightmare for the opposition, set at the table for the Giants offense. That's what I'm waiting for. He also asked with this new look roster. Will Bonte Hill go back to investing some dough on Giants baseball? Had the Gigantes earned him back. Now, not to make it about myself, but I'm looking at a couple of these comments here. The first I'm going to be humble in this one. Where are these comments? Uh, on his Twitter page or okay. X. The first one is K Grizzle. Nah, keep negative Nancy over on the other side. <laughs> and then Big Kahuna, we don't want or need him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me sit behind the first baseline with my Bo Jackson jersey on you Giants know, fans. Quietly, no, if I was going to pick one guy who I actually think is a great litmus test for where the Giants are at, it's a guy like Tyro Estrada because he's a spark plug for this really? team. Tyro I know Estrada. he's not someone you're going to yeah, think about, yeah. but his defense and how good his defense got but, last year when he was out for whatever, no, five weeks. Struggled. Oh, no. my God, the lineup But struggled. what about Casey Smith, though? Can he play second? Can Casey play a little second? Bonte, I'm Can Alman play a little second? I, I'm looking at the numbers. That's why Tyler Fitzgerald's on this team. Yeah. I think I think Tyler Fitzgerald makes his team. I think Wilmer Flores makes his team. Can Nick Alman play a little second? I think I think it's gonna be, is out. I think it's gonna be Flores and Fitzgerald. Wow. That, that's I mean Where's Casey Smith at? I think Casey Schmidt's in triple A. I think Damn. if you're asking me today, it's Matos, Luciano, and Casey Schmidt all in triple A. It's Erdo Chavez on YouTube. Uh Angel Devil, save your buddy, Bate. Devil spin your money, Pate, on the Giants. Listen, here's the dirty little secret. <laughs> We're now a radio host. <laughs> if we want to go to a game, we just pick up a credential or we beg somebody for some tickets. And usually somebody will come through. So That's look, BS, man. No, it's not BS. We're all in the I, Bay Area trying to save a dollar. I still have not given up hope that one day Casey Schmidt could be on this team. To think he's an everyday starter feels like a long shot. Damn. I know. I was so excited with this. Oh, well, we know. Oh, we know. I, we I know. still I still love his defense. <laughs> like to me, he's a guy like as I watched Kelby Tomlinson go up and down seven thousand yeah. times, he's a guy that I think has a place on a big league roster. If you didn't have some of these redundant parts, like yeah. I'm looking at someone like Austin Slater is gonna make this team, right? Austin Slater and Wilmer Flores give me very comparable offensive output when it comes to like yeah, you know I, they're they're kind of like DH guys. I don't think Slater's a center fielder. He's a corner outfielder. I, I just I don't I, want to, eh, even I, though I know he hits lefties. Yeah, I I hear you on that one. I hear it, Casey Smith. I, I just can't get over to what he did start struggling. The Contos came on the show saying, "Man, dude, he's swinging at like his his swing rate is going to catch up to him." What what happened to him? I want I want to see more Casey Smith as well. I do want to see Casey Smith, see some of these youngsters, see if they pop. See if they pop. But no, it, look, Giants baseball, they've done something here. They've done something. Well, the they guy made some struggling. moves. The guy so credit, struggling. you know what? You know what? We crush Farhan all That's... we want to. Whether or not the Giants were the bridesmaid, whether or not these guys are just desperately big league, to be on the big league club, Farhan's done a lot of wrong, and we've crushed him for it. You know what? They sealed the deal on Matt Chapman. They sealed the deal on Solaire. They sealed the deal on Jung Hu Lee. They sealed the deal on Blake Snell. You got to give credit when credit's due. It's a nice bounce back all season for Farhan. I'm not saying extend him for another five years. I'm not saying he's better than Brian Sabia. I'm not, I, I still want to see it. Yeah. But Farhan deserves credit 
for bagging some of these guys and making the Giants look a lot more competitive on the field. Well, they had a lot of money to spend, all right, and they weren't in the top 15 of payrolls last year. So this year in the offseason, of the 25 top free agents in terms of war, of what their projected war would be, they got the number three, number six, number 10, number 21, and number 24 free agents. I, I just... I know war. It's not the yeah, end-all, no, be-all. No, yeah. I'm just saying, like, if you're looking for impact... You got four, five, excuse me, five of the top 25 guys that were out there. Just, That's pretty good. It's unbelievable the dialogue we're having on this show right now. I'm really like, in just 24 hours, to how we were discussing the Giants yesterday, and look, they still got to figure out their publicly racist department. That some is things, undeniable. Oh, what the hell they're doing. But it's just in terms of the product on the field, and you look at the go to state Warriors and how down we are on the Warriors and how things are flipped, there's a lot of confidence that is shaken about the go to state Warriors and whether or not they can win a playoff series. Right now we have a pull-up on YouTube. What's more likely, the Warriors winning the playoff series or the Giants finishing second or higher in the NOS? 56% of the voters so far are saying the Giants have a better yes. chance of finishing second or better. As opposed to Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Clay Thompson, Chris Paul, Andrew Wiggins, come on, Looney, all these guys, yeah. Jonathan Kaminga, what in a playoff series? It, I, I, I can't believe we're here. It does feel like we're in that 2017, 18, 19 Range Giants with zone with the Warriors. Two years after winning the championship. I know. Because, like, in 2016, I still felt the Giants had magic. Oh, I did, too. Right? Like, oh, I did, too. And they lost that series to the Cubs. I thought like, it was oh, a winnable series. Oh, we needed a closer. Yeah. It, exactly. And Melanson, and Flames, yeah. and, you but, know. But I, think I, I felt that they still had that magic. And it was it ended up being false hope, right? And I look at the, the Warriors, and I, man, they, they did what the Giants did. They were loyal to a fault, which I, to, to, to me, I can't fault them for being loyal to the guys that got you here. Right. But there is a point where you got to pull the Band-Aid right. off, and it does feel like this but, is the offseason to do it if you're the Warriors. What is the more, what is it, What has been the most shocking thing with the Giants, or not the Giants, the Warriors this season? Is it Andrew Wiggins' inconsistency? Is it Clay moving to the bench and playing great alongside Chris Paul? TJD popping? Pajinski popping? What's the one thing we're going to look back at this season saying, boy, if that would have went right, the Warriors would have been, is it Andrew Wiggins? No, it's, I think it's denial. I think we're denial. all so close to the Warriors that we're we're in denial that they're not not really in their prime anymore. What one guy is in his prime? Jonathan Kaminga, Steph Curry, he's, Steph Curry. I don't even think yeah, Kaminga's think in his prime yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I mean. Like surface. I don't think he's in, one guy's in his prime. All right, now go look it over at the teams that are that are kicking butt right now. Just look at how many guys they have in their prime. Yeah. The Warriors got a bunch of old guys and a bunch of young guys. Yep. And so we're not ready if this yet. were a Venn diagram, there's too many on one bubble, too many on the other bubble, and not enough in the middle. Right. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. It's the fact that we're all in denial and we think they're better than they are, and they're just not. And it's I should have been listening to the haters. Denial. Denial. That sounds like a me problem. Yeah. You probably were in denial. Now, with